What's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you how to use MetaMask Wallet. First, we need to download or add an extension to our web browser. For this video tutorial, I'm going to be using Microsoft Edge, so it's Chromium based, but they have one available for Firefox, Chrome, and I think other web browsers as well. So go to metamask.io website and then press on download here and then install MetaMask for Chrome. Then in here, add to Chrome and then add an extension. That's it. Once this window is going to appear, we need to get started. Press on get started. And then if you are new to MetaMask, we'll have to press on create a wallet. Or if you have one already, just press on import wallet. I'm going to create a wallet new one. In here, you can agree or no thank you. Basically, your MetaMask is going to be sending anonymized data to MetaMask to help them to improve MetaMask. It's up to you. I'm just going to press no thanks. And then right here, we have to come up with a password. And then check mark and then create then next. And then right here, we have to reveal secret words. This is basically our recovery phrase. We reveal it, then we have to save it somewhere. And then next, now we have to put that same phrase here. And then confirm and all done. And that's it. And you can scan this to get MetaMask on your mobile device. We can close here. And now we have MetaMask on a full screen. But usually you'll have a little extension here, a little Fox MetaMask icon. And then once you press the first time, it's going to tell you what's new. So this is what it's going to look like every single time that you're going to open it up. So right here on the very top where it says Ethereum mainnet, this is basically different chains. Right here, you can switch over between different chains. I already made a bunch of videos how to add different chains to your MetaMask wallet, such as Binance or Polygon, Avalanche, and other ones. So if you press on it right here, at this time, we can only see Ethereum and a bunch of test nets. We don't have any custom ones, but if you're going to add Polygon or some other ones, you're going to be able to switch over back and forth over here from different chain. If you press on it, it's going to switch over. You can see this is one of the test network chains and then the other ones. I'm going to press back to Ethereum. The next thing on the right, if you press on this little icon, you're going to be able to see my account. You can lock it and it's going to lock. Then you can create a new account. If you press on create a new account, just name it. I'm just going to leave it account two. Then you'll have two different accounts. If you go back here, you can switch over from account one to account two. This is basically if you would like to have multiple Ethereum addresses. And as you can see, when you switch over from one to another, Ethereum address changes. It starts with HCD. And then if we go over here, it's something else. Then you can import your account. So for example, if you created wallet somewhere while back or you have your private key you can press on import account and then you can put your private key here or json file one of those and then press on import and it's going to add your account here then connect hardware wallet if you press on that if for example you have one of those usb looking hardware wallet tezos or ledger you can choose here and you can connect to your metamask wallet and then support and then setting page. If you press on setting page, there's general. Basically, you set to what you wanted to see USD dollars or you can set any other currency, primary currency, Ethereum or fiat language and then use blocky and high tokens without balance. It's turned off by default. But if, for example, if you can decide to add a different kind of token on Ethereum chain, and if you are going to have zero balance on there, then that token is going to be hidden. But by default, it's turned off. Then we can go back here on advanced. You can reset your account here, sync with mobile, state logs, and then gas control. It's turned off by default and other settings. Also, you can set up auto lock timer 
by default. I don't know what it's set to, but it looks like maybe five minutes. And then some other settings here as well. And then you can go back here contact i guess you can add a contact here if for example your friend or somebody else has same metamask you can probably add them in here i never used that function before then security and privacy you can reveal your secret phrase or seed phrase that's what it used to call you can press on it and then you'll have to type your password here and then next and it's going to reveal your seed or your backup recovery phrase but don't ever show this phrase to anybody else because if somebody's gonna get your backup phrase they can steal all your money and keep in mind if anybody's gonna be helping you with the metamask they will never ask for backup phrase if they will that's mean something is fishy about that help don't ever share your backup phrase then we can close this we'll go back here settings and then alerts enable or disable alerts by default both of the alerts enabled i would leave that and then network that's where you can see all your network and that's where you can add another chains in here for example binance if you click on add network you can add network name and all the information required and like i said earlier i already made a video about it if you need to add one of the chains you can refer to link in the description below and then experimental i don't think i ever viewed this function before and then about basically the version of this metamask then we can go back we can close this and then right here you'll see a little three dots if you press on it you can expand this view to full screen account details it's basically going to tell you your public key or your account address so for example if someone's going to send you money or you're going to send money from some kind of exchange to your metamask this is the address that you're going to use and you can export your private key that's the key that you can use to access your account through my ether wallet or maybe if you decide to export to another metamask then you'll need your private key and then you can view on ether skin for example some kind of transaction or something it's gonna open up ether explorer but there is no transaction, so you don't see anything here. Then let's go back here. And then connected sites right here at this time. Account is not connected to anywhere else. I'll show you how to connect in just a minute. And then in here, different accounts. If you press on this, this is basically going to copy your public address. And now if you go somewhere else on either skin or something and you right click on it and paste your public address is going to be here and then you can search for it. And then right here in the middle, you're going to be able to see your current coin or native coin. If we are on the main net, then it's going to be Ethereum and you can buy, send or swap here. Then you can look at the activity, your assets. It's going to show you your holding here. And then for example, and if you decide to add some kind of other token here, what you can do, you can press on import token, then this window is going to appear. You can search here, or if you press on custom, you just have to paste that specific token contract address, then it's going to probably fill this automatically. And then you can press on add custom token, and it's going to add a token automatically. But in some cases, let's say, for example, let's go to CoinGecko dot com and let's say let's scroll down and let's add tether so you can either press on this icon it's gonna add automatically or we can copy contract address here so let's do this right here it's gonna try to add automatically or and you can press add token or if you press on cancel and you go back here since we copy that contract address import token custom token right click on it paste here it's going to pre-fill USDT and then token decimal, add custom token and then import token. And that's it. You can go back here and you can see we have added second token into our MetaMask wallet. So now I'm going to show you how to connect your wallet to any website. Let's say, for example, we're going to use the centralized exchange and we're going to use Uniswap. So let's open Uniswap real quick, start trading so once you connect to some kind of decentralized exchange you have to connect your metamask to it so most of the time you'll see somewhere in the top right corner connect to a wallet press on it 
then it's going to give you an option which one do you have in this case this is metamask you press on it then that's going to appear and you'll have to choose which wallet you would like to connect you can select both of them you can always add and then press next and then connect and then it's going to try to connect and then now you are connected and if you would have some kind of balance in your metamask let's say a few ethereums or something or partial of ethereum you can exchange or you can swap ethereum to some kind of other token let's just say for example basic attention if we would have some we would type how much we would like to spend and then the amount would appear over here how much we would receive let's say one we would receive 557 basic attention token but in my case it's inefficient ethereum balance but if i would have that much ethereum on my account this would probably would be like a swap or something and then you would press on it and then metamask would open up and you would just have to confirm your swap transaction and then if for example you've been going around different decentralized exchanges and you've been connecting what you can do you can press on these three little dots and then press on connected sites and it will show you each site your metamask is connected and if we would have multiple sites we would have the whole list here and at the same time you can just disconnect you can press on this trash can and it will disconnect from that specific site and this is pretty much it this was a quick tutorial how to use metamask wallet and if this was helpful to you press that like button and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching